everyone, this is Joseph Mendoz with another video for virtualsheetmusic.com. Uh, today I would like to uh, answer a question that was asked on the experts uh, com uh, comments page on the virtualsheetmusic.com website. Um, the question uh, was about uh, thumb position vibrato. Um, now there is something about thumb position vibrato that is uh, troublesome uh, to us cellists. Um, you know, you, you learn to get a really nice, beautiful, round sound in those lower positions. And even in fourth position, we get that really nice sound. But then as soon as we get over this part of the cello, we get in a thumb position, things really get a little bit nasty. Um, and we tend to play with kind of a very tight, restrained vibrato. Um, now, the reason for this, I think, has to do a lot with the thumb and the first finger. I think the first finger is really the one for most people that's very uncomfortable to vibrate well on in, first, in, in the upper positions. Um, and the reason why is because of its proximity to the thumb. The thumb, I think, is the big enemy here. So when you're, when you're practicing these upper position uh, vibrato notes, what I want you to focus on is making sure that the thumb is staying free. Do not lock it down either next to, like that, sandwich it next to the index finger, or lock it down on the string. This will restrict your vibrato. It will not be as full as it could be if you make sure the thumb is free. So essentially the rule is the same. Whether you're in the lower position or you're in the upper position, here or up here, it doesn't matter. The thumb always needs to be limp. Now I know this is a little bit scary to think about having your thumb be kind of free and wild like that in the upper positions. But if you're really thinking about where your thumb needs to go when you're going to put it down, it's able to operate independently in the same way that any of the other fingers do. So I have another exercise for this. Is I, I tell my students to learn how to operate the thumb from this back joint, like that. You need to learn how to operate the thumb from there in the same way that we operate the fingers from this joint here, we need to learn how to operate the thumb from that joint there. And you can see me demonstrate that there. You see there's no rotation this way in order to get the thumb down. It's all isolated right in that joint. And that's where it needs to be in order to make sure that it's really free. So another way to get this is to do this exercise to play back here and then shift up and make sure that you're able to get the same sound. If you can get the same sound, then you know that that thumb is really, really free. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, uh, you know, the, the same goes for the other fingers. I just didn't mention them because generally those other fingers are freer in the thumb position. That's what I found with most students is that they're freer because they're further away from the thumb. The further away we get from the thumb in thumb position, usually the better off we are. Um, so make sure that thumb stays really free, really flexible. Learn how to use the thumb from that back joint there when you're playing in thumb position and your vibrato on all the fingers will be much freer. And then use this exercise to make sure that the vibrato is the same no matter what position you're in with that first finger. Uh, I wanted to briefly mention uh, that I have a new website, cellojunkie.com. Uh, hopefully the link will be up uh, in the upper corner there of the video if you're watching this on virtualsheetmusic.com. Um, please visit, visit this website. Um, it will be, uh, well, there's information uh, on the website about online lessons with me over Skype, uh, which work uh, very well. Um, and uh, as information about how to contact me for that. Um, there'll be blogs, there will be eventually uh, instructional videos, there will be uh, product reviews, all sorts of various things on this website, all cello related. Um, so I, I hope that uh, you'll go to that website and subscribe and uh, then you'll get uh, regular updates from me on uh, what's going on uh, at uh, cellojunkie.com. If you have comments about this video, please leave them at the virtualsheetmusic.com website. Do not leave them on YouTube. I will not be able to answer them, so please leave them at virtualsheetmusic.com. Um, and I can't wait to see those comments about this video. Uh, once again, this has been Joseph Mendoz for virtualsheetmusic.com.